Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lux for Less. My name is Gia and I buy and sell handbags. I'm today I'm thrifting out here near my house and I'm just looking for some handbags today to sell hopefully on Poshmark Macari. I have found some really cute things here like a Louis Vuitton handbag I bought for $40 and turned around and sold it for about $125 or $150. I can't remember. It's been a while. And some coach bags. This one's a Kathy Ireland bag. I just thought it was so cute. But I don't buy Kathy Ireland bags. Um, but the handbag itself was adorable. And I think they're asking. I can't really see right there. $7.99. Very cute bag. The other one right there is unbranded, but it was for $5.99, so I moved on. This one, just another generic unbranded ba bag, so I moved on. Went back to the counter, because um, earlier he was busy, and I asked to see the handbags below. So he brought them out. I did not know who they were from. I wanted, was very curious to the designer brands and the first one um i don't even think was a designer brand it was just it was in really bad shape it was just as you can see there it's awful so and falling apart so i moved on to the next one this one is an mz wallace handbag and i did not know who mz wallace was sorry if comment below if you did or do i did not know about them i went home looked it up and you know it's a hit or miss poshmark some of them are selling for 50 dollars, but a lot of them are selling for over 200 dollars up to 350 dollars. so i didn't know what this would sell for i really wish i um bought it but i did give it back so but i loved everything about the bag so they were asking 29.99 so 30 bucks and I just they had a lot of zipper compartments, which I really liked. I wish I would have went back. Here's the coach. It was felt really flimsy. Uh, so I just, I did not get it. I did not like it. This one, I'm. it was by Sharif. Something like that, Sharif. Um, comment below if you know who I'm talking about. I didn't know who they were, so I gave all four handbags back. I kept looking to see what else there was in the glass compartment. I noticed this black wallet there. Very curious to what it was or who it was from. I looked real quick on this side. That was a little nice work bag there. I don't know who that was from. And then two other bags right there in the corner. They looked familiar from the last time I was here. So I went back to the wallet, asked him if he can let me see that particular wallet. And I opened it up, and on the top right there, it said Burberry. And I'm like, okay, Burberry, but it did not feel legit. <laughs> Felt kind of cheaply made. I couldn't find a price, so he looked, and it was in the zipper compartment. And he told me it was $50. So I'm like, $50? And he said, well, a lot of people are not afraid of that. And I said, I'm not afraid of $50 either if it's real. <laughs> Um, but I'm not sure if it's real. It feels, it feels very cheaply made. I did not know. I reopened it again. I looked over to the side and as you can see here, all the way to the right, it says made in China. Playing his day right there. So I really don't think Burberry puts made in China right near their Burberry, um, tag there so i told him i said i i really doubt this is real because it says made in china he had a good laugh and i walked away <laughs> so moved on i moved on so then i saw this cute bag oh my goodness look at this 
LC. I, I, for some reason, I kept thinking LC was Lauren Conrad, but it was Liz Claiborne. And I was kind of surprised because it looked more modern. And when I think of Liz Claiborne, I think of a little bit older type handbags. But uh, this was so adorable. I just don't buy Liz Claiborne handbags, so I put it back. Here's the same bag I see everywhere, <laughs> all over the store. They have a couple of them. Now, this one I thought for a second, maybe it's a Kate Spade, because remember back in the day in the late 90s, she had handbags that had the little cherries on them, but it didn't say Kate Spade sewn in the front, so I knew it wasn't Kate Spade. There is another, this was a cute bag, but unbranded. Some Sometimes some of these unbranded um, bags are so cute, like Charming Charlie. I love their handbags, but I just can't resell it for what I pay for it and make a profit. So I had to always skip those Charming Charlies. This one was, I believe, Forever 21. It was kind of cute. And then the tote behind it was cute. Uh, I like the color, but it was, I believe it was Worthington or, oh, Magnifique. That's the name brand. And I just don't know anything about that as well. Comment below if you think that I missed out and I should have gotten one of these handbags. It's always good to know. So next time I go, I can pick up some of these handbags since they're not that expensive this one's worthington i always see worthington everywhere this one was a cute one too by rosetti so i kept moving on down looking through there's like four sections of handbags and these looks like a cute little it says love little hearts and lips hot lips um, but it was very, you could tell it was cheaply made. That one was even cheaply, uh, cheaperly <laughs> made. Um, that one was, this one was really cute. I love the color. It's by Bella Luca. It still had the tags. And I just like the design. I just thought it was really nice. But I don't know what I could sell Bella Luca for. And I think they were asking $7.99 or $9.99. So I passed it up. This one is another newer bag. I love the side zippers. Very cute. I love the color, but um, it wasn't a name brand. Now here, I finally found a coach. Yay. <laughs> so uh, this one, I believe, was $9.99. Unlike the other designer bags in the front where they're $30. So it was clean. It was heavy. It's cute. Um, it's leather. You can see the pebble leather. It's a white pebble leather with the gray and so i got it um some of these bags have been here for over a month so that if you see me going through them really quick it's because i have gone through them before in my other videos so i'm just passing them up quickly um it's too bad that they just don't rotate them out if they've been there for three weeks or four weeks they should put out some newer handbags but this tote right here, even though I knew it felt very cheap and plastic, it was just a cute, the colors and stuff was cute, but I did not get it. So then I'm moving on uh, here. This is Stone Mountain. Let me know what you guys think about Stone Mountain. I see them all the time and I always pass it up, but they are cute bags. Look at this. this doesn't look like Edna from The Incredibles. That's what it reminded me of Edna. If anybody remembers The Incredibles, the little girl with glasses, that's what it reminded me of. It was cute. I should have got it. So then here was another bag, but most of these um, were unbranded. Now this one said Dooney and Burke, which I'm like, okay, I really feel it. And it feels very light and cheap. There's nothing in there. I checked the inside. There was not made in the USA. The only thing Dooney and Burke was that little thing you just saw, but nothing else to signify that that is a true blue Dooney and Burke. So I put it away. Um, this one is a Nine West bag. It's cute, but it was from Nine West. I thought this was a coach at first, so I took it out. 
and looked at it, but I believe this was a non brand. There was nothing in there, so I put it back. Okay, wow, right here, look at this. I saw, I, and this was very heavy. I thought it was so cute. I love the little bee there, so we already know who this is. It's Bee Mikowski. And I believe they wanted $7.99 or $9.99. And look at that little, the little Bee Mikowski bee. I love it. So I, I grabbed it. These are little slingbacks. It says genuine leather. I did not get it. There's another one back here. I did not get it. Even though they say genuine leather, some of them just feel cheap or lightweight and it's just not enough for me to, like I said, resell if you're looking to resell and make a profit. Okay, now I'm going to the wallets and clutches. That's been there for over a month. I may open it up, but I already know I've seen it before. This, it was a Neiman Marcus. I put it in my basket, but I did not buy it. I should have. I believe it was only, what, $5.99? $5.99, Neiman Marcus. It's um, overnight to put your makeup. I should have grabbed that, but I put it back. This one, I can't even read it. No matter how hard I tried, I opened and zipped it up too. I just, I, ha I have really bad eyesight and I wear glasses and I still can't read half of these um, tags. So forgive me, maybe you guys can see it, but I could not. So I put it back. This one I couldn't even open. I tried and tried and so I said, forget it. <laughs> this one says Marvelous Maisel from that movie. It's a little like travel kit or makeup kit. Did not get that. Did not get that, whatever that was like a um, pouch. This one was also a pouch. It was more for, um, I believe you're like your lap, not your laptop, but your one of those little things, uh, tablets. It's like a tablet pouch. It's a pretty color, but I didn't get it. This one is really cute too. I looked and looked, there was no brand on it. It was only like $5.99 or $7.99. It was really cute, but did not get it. Now, this wallet I actually put in my basket because I have that handbag of the same um, cowboy. Uh, and I actually put it in one of my videos um, to buy because I liked the front of, the, of that look. And then I saw it and I put it in my basket. But at the end, I put it back because I think I sold the handbag. So I didn't really need the wallet so i put that back that's a really cute clutch i love the color i'm beginning to like more clutch bags now but i did not get it i don't know what the resale would be or how hard it would be to resell clutches so i did not get it especially ones that are not like louis vuitton or dior or balenciaga or anything like that so this one I thought was cute. It was really heavy. It was beaded, but it was stained. And so I did not get that one, but it was adorable. This is Nine and Company. There wasn't really a lot there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, but not a lot that I saw that I wanted to take home with me. P is for Pampered. That was cute, but did not get it. That was Clinique. Just a lot of little wallets that were unbranded. Cute ones though. I just could not find anything worth bringing home. That one was cute too. I did not take that home. Little pouch, little flimsy pouch. Now that was a cute Samyun site night <laughs> a camera bag. Um, I almost got it. It was only $2.99. Why I didn't get it, I don't know. But it's, it was a camera holder and Samsonite. And I should have got it, but 
I didn't. Now these, they there was a couple of them. These are the little fanny packs, and they were little fluffy ones. They had different colors. They had red, and they had the white. Um, and fanny packs, I guess, are still in. I don't know about these furry fa um, fanny packs, so I did not get it. And there's quite a few under there when you when I start pulling everything back. But this one right here was this one's um, all genuine leather um handbag it looks like it was hidden it should have been with the handbags not with the wallets it looks like someone put it in there to hide it maybe but i picked it up looked at it um it, it was really heavy it was genuine leather and i did put it in my basket but i didn't end up taking it home i looked at this at a glance and i thought is this juicy couture and yes it was juicy couture now, it's with all the little fanny packs that I kind of got mixed up with the furry fur. So I picked it up, and I'm like, okay, Juicy. I know I don't know what a resale value left to honor of Juicy Couture. I hardly ever deal with Juicy Couture. But back in the day, Juicy was so popular. But it was so cute and different, I took a chance and put it in my basket. So I started looking to see if there's any other Juicy Couture, and I just found all these little furry things. Maybe it came from the same seller. They all came together. I don't know. Normally when you see kind of all the same stuff, then you um, it comes from the same person that donated it. But uh, I like that little pink fur, but uh, it was just an unbranded bag, so I did not get it. I did find this really cute beanie from San Francisco 49ers. I'm not a 49ers fan. So what did I do? Left it behind. <laughs> I don't sell any football gear, but that was a really cute beanie. If it, if it had my team, I would have definitely got it. Or if maybe a, my son's team, I would have got it. Now this one, it felt cheap. I opened it up and it was just color brilliance <laughs> pouch. So yes, I threw that back. Not much in here. This was cute. It's a little pouch and you could put all your brushes. If you look here, like for your, you know, eyeliner, uh, makeup brushes. Really cute. Okay, this one has been there for over a month. Mm, I can't even see what that is. I have the time. Now, this is a coach and has been there for once again. Another one over a month. It's cute, but they wanted $14.99, and it was really dirty. You can't really tell up close or from the video, but they had a lot of water stains, and it was dirty. I love the design on it. I love the flowers. It is so adorable, but because of that, um, you know, the, the stains and everything, I did not get it. Everything else here was just kind of cheap, so I kept going. This is the last section of handbags, a little denim little bag, but it was a non-brand. It's cute, though. If someone is into denim, that would be it, but um, it came with the tag still, but it's just like a, a, a non-known. <laughs> this one is um, just fabulous bag. So I saw this, and I'm like, wait, this it looks like a Brighton. So I looked inside and voila it is a brighton and they wanted seven dollars and 99 cents so i'm like yes i will get that very cute very cute look it even has the side pockets for like your water um it was very heavy um there nothing that i saw that needed you know like there's no stains or rips or anything this one, I'm not sure what it was. Um, and this one, they, none of these. It's just none of these were really worth anything. I was surprised I got the bags I got that day, which is, was the Coach, the Brighton, the Juicy Couture. But I saw some other bags on the other side of the counter. And so I asked if I could see that one. And so then she said she would get it get it out and bring it over to me in the meantime i was looking at this dress i thought it was so adorable i love the colors 
perfect for summer, even though summer is now winding down. I just thought I'd just show you guys how beautiful that was. So here she is handing me the purse so I could check it out. And it is a Mark by Mark Jacobs. I love the purse, the color, the gray, everything. They wanted, um, I believe, $29.99. And I just didn't want to pay. I don't know. Sometimes I see a little stain there for $30. I just, sometimes I'm just not sure. And I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to probably have to pass, but it was really cute and it was heavy. So it wasn't like cheaply made I, or didn't feel cheaply made. It, it was a nice bag, but I did pass on that. Now there were two more bags right underneath in the next counter right here so I asked if there's some Miu Miu right there shoes so I asked if they can pull the bags out there were two that one which that one I actually last time I was here I knew it looked familiar so when I looked at it I'm like oh yes this is the fake Prada remember that the fake Prada <laughs> I had to tell them explain to them about the R but this one, oh my God, I just love it. It was it's gorgeous and it's red and it's just, it's very um, stylish, I think. And it is by Marc Jacobs. And it was the same price, $29.99, so $30. This one was much better condition. It says made in Italy right there. It just was, it, it was a really nice bag. So I told her I would take that one because even if I don't sell this one, I would definitely keep it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can see all my upcoming videos. And until next time, thank you.